When I was dealing with active politics, it was always my advice to a minister, have somebody on your staff who's going to tell you when you are absolutely full of it, because everybody else is going to say you're great. Patrick Gossie used to be Pierre Elliott Trudeau's press secretary, and he joins me right now because we want to talk about the new ministers, the new prime ministers. You have said that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau should have someone there who tells him, listen, buddy, you're prime minister, but this is wrong, or you could do this better. Yeah, do you I agree mean, with that? Yeah, I agree, and I mean, there clearly isn't. And, and I mean, uh, the, 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 I went through the great list, and there's 100 people in the PMO, 100 people, huge. for God's sakes. And, and we don't know any of them except for maybe three. Maybe. Well, and there, there, well, Katie Telford yeah. we know about. And Katie Telford is not a communications person. And, you know, she's a numbers person. And she's the person that has the prime minister's ear. And clearly she did not say to him, uh, Justin, you cannot go to Tofino. You can't go. I mean, either, I mean, either two things happen. Either, either they're totally incompetent, the people, the people that are supposed to advise him, Yes. Or somebody did tell him, and he refused to take their advice. He's so arrogant. But I, that he didn't I take actually, their advice. I actually think it's the former. I think, I think it's just total incompetence. I think people like Telford say, "I have four press secretaries. I think there are four that are." And he's yeah. got a director of communications that was a recent graduate, by the way, of journalism at Carleton. I mean, he's a young, young guy. But isn't that the prime minister's responsibility to have someone in staff who's going to say, "Prime minister"? Give this thing a second thought. Prime Minister, perhaps you should not do this. Or Prime Minister, put your foot down saying, this is going to be the end of you if you do it. Is it not his responsibility to have someone there who's going to say those things? Some smart guy, his father almost lost in 72 and got Keith Davy on side. I know, and Jim Coots, who, yes. was, who, was, who were, was on top of the politics of what was going on every single hour of every day. So it is and the Prime Minister's responsibility then. Yes, well, I think so. I absolutely agree. And what worries me is that, you know, not, nobody over 40 or 45 was, was ever consulted from the former administrations or people from, you know, the former Trudeau government. All you of mean whom, by this Justin by this, Trudeau? Yeah, Justin yes. Trudeau. And there are a lot of people who were really, you know, miffed about that. And I, not that I want to be press secretary, but there are lots of people that I can think of who were seasoned communications people but unfortunately happened to be associated with his father. And I was told by Jerry Butts, the only way to start a wholly, a wholly new government, which he was determined to do, is to have nobody from the former government there. That was an absolute rule. And I think that's one of the more crazy and stupid and idiotic things that, that Justin listened to. And of course, he lost Butts, who was a senior guy. So I mean, we're seeing the results of, you know, in, not just incompetence, but uh, the inability of, to speak truth to power. Patrick Gossage, speaking truth to power. Thank you very much. Three minutes. With Justin in his third term, now more than ever, you're going to need independent news. How else are we going to find out how many hundreds of millions of dollars he's giving to the former Liberal MPs? Stick with us. Please subscribe and PayPal. Keep it on the air.